After giving birth to the baby named Oliver Twist, this unknown woman died immediately. The baby was sent to an orphanage in Pentonville, where orphans were treated terribly and fed very little by an old woman who looked after them. At the age of nine, he was sent to another terrible workhouse by the Bethel, Mr. Bumble. There was a place which need an existence of undertaker, and it was a good time for Oliver to start his first job. Unfortunately, problems still occurred. There was a fight between Oliver and his co-worker, Noah. Hey Oliver, hey stop it, how is your mama? She's dead. I'm being so sorry for that, but that's okay since you was a big woman. What did you just say? It was lucky he's dead, or he would end up in jail. That night, he was thinking how his future could be without his mom, and he decided to escape. There was a sign which led him away to London. After wandering around for seven days and nights, he finally reached Barnet. Accidentally, he met a boy named the Artful Dodger. Dodger knows a man, Fagin, who can offer Oliver food to eat and place to live. Oliver was very excited after hearing that and he followed Dodger along the way. A few days later, Fagin ordered Dodger to guide Oliver to work for the first time. At that time, he was called to the police station and sent to the court. While discussing, everyone assumed that Oliver was a thief. Fortunately, a witness who saw those actions claimed that Oliver is not a thief, but the other boy. The old man named Brownlow was very pity with how Oliver was treated. He decided to take Oliver home in North London since he was very ill and pain. When Oliver was recovered with a good care from Mr. Brownlow, he woke up and told Brownlow his background. After hearing about Oliver's life, Brownlow gained more trust on Oliver. Looking back at Fagin's house, he got really mad about losing Oliver. He worried that Oliver would spend their work to others. Suddenly, Fagin's friend came. What the devil's going on here? The newcomer was caught. What? And he might bring us into trouble if he spread the story. What should we do? We have to find him as soon as possible. Maybe Nancy can help us. Nancy! Yes, sir. We're in a big trouble now. You have to go and find Oliver. How can I, sir? I don't even know where to find him. No matter what, don't come back unless you find him. Okay, sir. The moment was full of problems, but Oliver lived happily with Brownlow. One day, Brownlow asked Oliver to return his book and come back to the bookstore where Dodger used to bring him there. Unfortunately... Oliver, go home with me! No, I won't go back to that place! You nasty boy! Your mother work so hard! Go home with me! <laughs> Oliver was again treated badly after being caught by the gang team. He was locked alone in the room and given very little food to eat. Few days later, Fagin tried to poison Oliver's mind. He was trying to make Oliver feel like he belonged to the gangs in order to take him to join the crime again. Without knowing what the plan was, Oliver was forced to rob a house with Bill Sykes again, 
Unfortunately, the crime was not success, and Zack left him alone in the field unconsciously. Next day, Oliver woke up and felt so much pain. He saw a house in the distance. He decided he would rather die near human than in a coal field. A few hours later, he woke up again in a big house with a good care from young lady, Rose. Oliver's life started to get better with a good clothes and good foods. One thing, however, caused him unhappiness is that he wanted to find Mr. Brownlow, the kind man who had looked after him in London. Sadly, there was no hope for Oliver since Mr. Brownlow had already moved to other place. One day, Mr. Bumble went to a pub and suddenly met a man who always searching for him. Hey. You look familiar to one of my friends. But I don't recognize you. That's not important. I just want some information. What information? Come and take a seat. What do you want to know? About a boy named Oliver Twist. Ah, yes. I remember him. A dreadful kid. I will pay you if you tell me everything about him. I don't know everything about him. But I know a woman who knows everything. Yeah, she. Come with me. Were you there when Oliver was born? Yes. Uh, what did she say after giving his birth? No, um, she was died immediately, but there was a woman who stole a pepper from Oliver's mother. Uh, where is she now? She's died. What? Don't worry, she left me the pepper before she died. What was it about? Come here and you back here. Wait here. It was just a receipt from a pawnbroker. I went to the Pawn broker and got a little gold lock hat. And inside was a gold wedding ring. There was a name Agnes on the lock hat. Monk suddenly grabbed the lock hat and threw it into the river. Uh, next time we see each other, pretend that we don't know each other. Okay. A few days later, Monk went to meet Fagin at the workhouse in order to tell him about the news that he got from Bumble. As soon as they went into the room, Nancy crept silently up the stairs to listen to what are they talking about. She got a really tall information that they were discussing. After hearing so many things, she rushed to a hotel where Rose stayed. My life and other life are in your hand now, and I am going to tell you some secret. What is it about? I am the girl who took Oliver back to Frankie house when he was going to bookseller. I was about to die of starvation, but the group of thieves who are my only friend come and save my life. And I want you to promise me that not to harm any one of them. Okay, I promise you. Do you know a guy's name, Monk? No. But he know you, and secretly heard him saying that you are here. He also know that Oliver stay in your house after the night of robbery. What happened then? I also heard that the only proof of Oliver identity is at the bottom of the river, and he has all Oliver money, safety now. The important thing that he said that his young brother Oliver will never see the money again. His brother. Yes, that's all I want to tell you. Please take care of Oliver and I will come to with you every Sunday night. Between Edward and Frank. The next morning, Oliver ran to Rose with a huge excitement. He found out where Mr. Brownlow lived and asked Rose to bring him there. When both of them were there, Rose was the one who entered the house first and had a talk with Brownlow. This may surprise you very much and uh, you were once very kind to a dear friend of mine and I'm sure that you will be interested to hear his news. May I know his name? Oliver Twist. Rose told him how Oliver was treated after leaving Brownlow and everything that happened to Oliver. 
Brownlow felt even more sad and pity after hearing too many tough lives of the little kid. On the other hand, he was also happy seeing he and Oliver were back together and found out that Oliver was a very kind and trustworthy kid. Lara Brownlow tried to discover who Oliver's parents were and also find Monk in order to regain the inheritance that should have been his. On the next Sunday, Fagin wondered why Nancy always trying to go out. Then he offered a boy to spy on Nancy. At the exact Sunday night, Nancy went out again as an appointment. Mr. Brownlow, yeah. here she come, the girl that I told you. I couldn't feel her tonight. What's wrong? I'm really afraid of that. I couldn't come last Sunday. Why? Because I was locked in my room. But now before I tell you anything, promise me not to hand any one of my friends, especially friendly, hand to the police. Why not? They have been loyal to me and I couldn't betray them. Okay, I promise none of your friends will be harmed. But just tell me where Mark is. Nancy tell Brownlow where Mark usually go and how does he look like. After that, she went back home with tears and the boy went to inform Syke everything he had heard. Syke, what would you do if any of our gang tell the other about our story? No matter who it was, I smash his head into little pieces. Fagan tells Syke why Nancy went out every Sunday night and what she had spread out about them. After listening to Fagin, Syke went down immediately. Nancy was dying and covered with blood. Syke was very frightened and couldn't decide what he should do next. He was crazy and trying to escape. Back to Mr. Brownlow. He successfully found Monk. You have been kidnapped here into my home. You have a choice to tell me or you will be arrested. I don't expect you would do this to me. you my father, dearest friend. I know all about you and your father. He was forced in a bad marriage by his family and you were the result of it. Your parents end up being separated been hating each other at the end. Well, what's so important about it? After they've been separated for 10 years, the father found another family and had two daughters. He became engaged to the older daughter. But before he did, he told me to get some money to his wife and the rest to Oliver's mother. How can you prove that Oliver is her son? I noticed how similar he looked to the girl face in the picture. There was a will that mentions Oliver's name, but you destroyed the clue that showed that he is your half-brother because you didn't want to share the will with him. Even though Brownlow shared some will to Monk, it was a great time that Oliver received back what was really his. They were really glad to solve the problem and found out all the story behind. Oliver was also legally adopted by Brownlow and lived happily ever after. Looking at Iwo's side, while Syke was trying to escape from police, he accidentally fell from the top of his house and hanged himself to death. For Fagin, because he had been so evil and worked in an illegal job, he was caught into prison and also hanged to death. Thanks for spending your valuable time watching our roleplay. Have a good time!
my fire. 